Okay, today, today I received a package I was waiting for for a while now and the plant that's inside oh, it's one of my dream plants but it's hard to get in Belgium because they sell a lot of this kind of plant but not the real one so uh, even if the label says it's that one you probably will get another one so let's open the package and first and foremost Thank you Jean-Marie, you made my year. This is something I was looking for for a long time now. And finally you sent it to me. So you made me a very, very happy person. So let's see. Package is open. A lot of cardboard. So I know now what you are eating and, and doing with your money. It's Jean-Marie. <laughs> so you see the... The gray dark, uh, the gray black plastic bag inside, and inside that, it's the thing I was waiting for. I can say it's um, something with enormous leaves, with giant stems if it's fully grown in the opt in the optimal circumstances. No idea yet, I think, most of you. So, here it is. There it is. Showing us. It's look, it looks like a dinosaur's egg. <laughs> but it isn't, of course. This is the Gunnera Manicata, the real one. The big one, the giant one. Something I was looking for a long time. And now, finally, I have it. And look at those roots. Oh my god, Jean-Marie, you did a great, a great job, really, I'm so proud to have this. So I will take care of it, like a little baby. So I will put it now, before because the winter is starting here in Belgium, so I will put it in, in a little pot. I filled that with uh, potting compost. I show you like that so it's normal potting compost nothing special I put my gunner inside of that and I fill it up with again potting compost so let's do that you see behind that pot I also have small Ciatea Cooperi tree ferns and also the the Albata variant these grow much faster than the Dixonia I have a lot of other stuff of course but you can see that in the other videos so I'm really putting the compost against the root so it makes contact and when it's filled I will give it uh, rain water so it's very wet so Jean-Marie told me you can leave it outside in the pot until it's gonna freeze and then you take it inside until the freezing is, is gone and I will plant it in the ground in uh, I think in, in March, May, February, I don't know. I think it will be late May to be sure it's it survives its first year here. So now I'm going to get some more rainwater because there was not enough. Okay. So really really making it wet and getting the soil against the roots so I let it take up the water now and now I'm gonna put it outside close to the back door so I can keep an eye on it 
Meanwhile, I filmed my a few palms of mine. So this is the Martianus, the big one. And the little one is the, oh my god, what's the name? Manipur. This one. This one maybe I will sell in May. I'm not sure yet. But this one stays with me. So where did I put my Gunnar? Yeah, right. So it's here. As I told you, at the back door, so I keep an eye on it. When it's too cold or when it's not wet enough, I can give it moisture. I hope it will grow as fast as this giant grows in normal circumstances. Okay, let's go. It's nothing to see at this time of year. So I wanted to show you a little bit of the rest of what I did in the autumn. So this is my uh, Dixonia tree fern. Doing really well. We'll go inside as soon as it starts freezing. And this is all cleaned up. Like that. I was just closing my door of my greenhouse. <laughs> So this is the black bamboo that I replaced. So it's now uh, at another place in the garden. All the soil is, you can see now, I probably will replant that with low flowers. And this is the place where I will put my big gunnera. So it will cover up a lot, but I don't care. I want the jungle in my small garden, so it's ideal. This is the part I made. Here was the previous uh, black bamboo that I planted any uh, elsewhere. It's not not much to see at the moment. So these are my. <laughs> I think these are six or seven years old Trachycarpus fortuni. Look at those stems. I. That's what you get when you have patience. So uh, patience when you. So your own and you let them grow, they will make beautiful trunks. Not those small, long, skinny ones you buy in, in the shopping malls. And what I do to protect my Lucky Cactus Fortnite is very simple. So the problem with them is when ice or snow will get inside the center of it. So the, the only thing I do is I take some rope and I put it around these new shoots at the center so it's closed so nothing can ins get inside nothing can freeze or rot during the winter time especially when it's it's snowing and with my musabashu very simple plastic pipe according to the diam the the width of the stems i put some plastic around it and that's the only thing i do i was tired of uh, putting a lot of things around because the mustabashu always comes back so that's not a problem and here you see the black boom bamboo now so this will be the bamboo pathway These are the bashus. <laughs> they are already shooting because the weather is at this point a little warmer than I expected. And this is the view from the other side. So, so that's the pathway this this summer. And that's all. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Bye.